YouTube, what's going on? Witty P coming back with another one. Let's get it. You know I don't stop. You know I don't stop. Various topics. I keep it rolling. So let's keep it rolling. Today we're going to talk about where you should go for your first date. A lot of people don't know where to go for the first date. They overthink it. So I'm going to tell you where you should go. And you're thinking first date. This video is dedicated to just men. No, this video, video is dedicated to men and women. You got some boss chicks out here chicks that's actually more bossed up than some of these weak men out here so we're gonna talk about where you should go for your first date it's gonna be a good one so stick with me on this one before i start the video please watch the entire video and if you like the video subscribe to the channel to receive more content like this and just content about life and various topics let's get it where you should go for your first date and i'll just take it real quick from a man's angle because typically when you go out on a date it's a man taking the women out a woman out but what men try to do is they try to overcompensate what do I mean by overcompensate they try to look rich on the first date everything has to be extravagant they try to go to the biggest venues leading with their wallet and that actually end up biting them in the foot in the end because you can't make nobody like you let's get that straight so if you leave with your wallet as a guy, that's what she'll like you for. She don't have to like you, but she can like the things that you can do. So while we at it, first place you should go on a date, on the first date, anywhere but a food date. <laughs> I'm dead serious too, anywhere but a food date. Why should you feed a stranger? This is the first date, keep in mind. You barely know this person. And then you get pissed off at the end of the night if things don't work out how you wanted it to work out. You didn't fed them. You know what I'm saying? You got them feeling good. Then things don't work out how you want it to work out. Now you piss. You feel like you wasted money. Anywhere, to, anywhere but a food date. Even go to a coffee date. Go bowling. Somewhere active where you got to be active. Because you know what happened with food dates on the first date? At food dates, stick with me. Food dates turn into interviews. So where do you work? What do you want to do in life? What do you, it turns into it turns into an interview. When you're sitting across from somebody at a food date, first date should not be an interview. You want to get to know them gradually, but you should be doing something fun. Like I say, do something active, anything active, shooting pool, bowling, anything where you're on your feet and you're moving. So that's how I look at that. Like, you don't you don't feed a stranger because what if you don't even see them again? See the thing with the bowling dates and the, you know, you shooting pool something where you're more active. You get to really see if they really like your personality, if they like your energy, because you won't spend too much money doing that. So if they want to go on a second date, you know they genuinely like you for you. That's why I say, don't do the food dates. Because you got some people out here that are just date just to go just to eat, just for a meal. I'm dead serious. There's people out here that would date just to, just for a meal. Just for it's called just for a meal ticket. <laughs> so on the first date, go anywhere but a food date, in my opinion. Because those turn into interviews. Then you can end up spending way too much money than what you had planned. And now you're expecting something at the end of the night. See, when you spend all that money and you do extravagant things, now you're you kind of indirectly putting pressure on the, you know, the person you're dating. Like you're expecting something out of them. They don't owe you anything. You guys are strangers to each other. You got to realize that. Dead serious. You are strangers to each other, so. I don't believe in feeding strangers. <laughs> Real talk, because if you're going to like me, you're going to like me for me, my energy, my personality, all of that. But if I leave with my wallet, you'll like me for that. If I leave with my wallet. 
So I'm very conscious of that. Anywhere, anywhere but a food date, honestly. Anywhere but a food date. So that way, if, if you two happen to meet up again, you know, it's off real raw emotion and you know how you really feel about that person. It's not because I know what they can buy or what they can spend or what they will, what they're willing to spend. So don't overthink them first dates. Just do something real casual. See, men always try to, and I'm going to pick on the men on this one, men always try to look rich. They always want to try to, like I say, go to the biggest venues, try to be extravagant like they about to get married. You don't even know this person. Women, they smart though when it comes to dating. They not about to be doing all of that. They'll tell you to probably, you know, meet them somewhere, talk, and that, you know, they ain't about to be spending no money on you. For what? But man, always, we always do that. But because what you're really doing, you're trying to overcompensate. You're trying to overcompensate. You're trying to stand out. you thinking by you spending the most money on this date, you know, you're going to stand out more than the other people that she could be dating. You're trying to overcompensate, leading with your wallet. So it's real easy to, you know, kind of expose those people that's trying to overcompensate. Because when you know you got it, you ain't in no rush to do nothing. Because you know, regardless of whether they, you know, appreciate what you're doing, you know what you could do. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what you could do. So, like I say, first dates, do something real simple. Like, go out for coffee. That's the closest I get to food. But I'm going, like I say, we do, we going bowling. We going to go shoot some pool. Shit, whatever sport she played in high school or something, whatever sport he played in high school, we go play that. That could be a date. See, when you, everybody think a date is like food. Nah. A date is where two people can come together, have a good time, and get to know each other and have fun. Like, that's it. That's a date. People over, overthink these dates. Only time I'm doing a food date is when I'm inviting someone over, when I'm inviting her over and I'm cooking. On the first date. But even on the first date, she shouldn't even be coming over your house if she has some type of respect for herself. But guys, we gonna go if, if, a, if a female invite us over for the first day, we going over there. You know how we rocking. <laughs> we going over there. But yeah, women, they shouldn't come over on the first day, but if she's willing to come over on the first day, I'm cooking. I'm not feeding no strangers. I'm not spending no money on no, you know, no stranger that I just met for the first time that I might not even ever see again. Or if I see them again, it's just because they know what my wallet is capable of. No, 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 no. So stop overthinking these dates. Do something simple, you know, where you're active, where it's not an interview, where you can really see their personality, their energy, and really can see how they feel about you. Honestly, really see how they feel about you. But it's easy for me. Anywhere but food. And if it is going to be a food date, it's going to be at my crib. Or her crib. Simple as that. So. That's where we at with it. You ain't going to stand out trying to be, trying to overcompensate, be all extravagant. You're doing too much. She either gonna like you or she not. He either gonna like you or he not. You can't make nobody like you. But you can make somebody like the things that you can do for them. That's for sure.
that's for damn sure. So, just wanted to cover that. First date, don't overthink that. It ain't nothing to think about. Shit, something simple. <laughs> Straight like that. Witty P coming back with another one. Hit that bell icon for me too. I'm dropping these videos so consistently, so rapidly. Shit, I got six already and it's what, Thursday? Six, seven videos already this week. So go, go look at my playlist. Everything is categorized. If you like sports, if you like life, shit, everything is broken down and categorized. So made it easy for you. Check it out. Witty P coming back with another one. You know I don't stop. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's go.